Hi, kings and queens. I hope all is well with you guys. This is Sandra Finn with your mortgage consultant. Wanted to come on and talk to you about being prepared for the home buying process. Now, what I need you guys to do, if you aren't already, is keep all of your stuff in one folder on your computer or in your home. <laughs> I had a young lady come to my office and she had folders, manila folders, with all of her things. And I'm talking about they were so nice and neat. This was my best client ever. When I say best client ever, I mean it. She came in, her stuff was filed. It was paper clipped nice and neatly together. Her tax returns, her W-2s, everything was there. She had all of her bank statements. Like she had opened up the mail when they send those bank statements in the mail. She had opened up those mail, those bank statements and she had it, um, she had them all in separate folders. And she had, she brought her folders to the office. She said, here's every document that you asked me for, Ms. Fenwick. All I had to do was take that to the uh, copier and scan it on there. I was happy. My processor was happy. Make me happy, guys, in this process, please. <laughs> Be organized. And a lot of things, a lot of these things are electronic right now. So when you get your taxes done, your tax preparer is normally going to email you a copy of your digital um, tax return, unless you have an old school one that still does it by hand. But and even then, File those things away in your home where you can, you know, you can have them together because we are going to ask you for those documents, guys. We need your tax returns from the last two years and your W-2s for the last two years. We need your pay stubs to cover the last three months. We need your um, bank statements for the last two months. Bank statements and pay stubs are usually pretty easy to get to because a lot of companies with pay stubs, they have everything in their little online portal. You can go on. Sometimes um, you may change jobs, so maybe you want to take the extra step, extra step if you know that you're about to buy a house. Go on every week. Download a copy of your pay stub into a folder. That's what I do. Um, Download a copy of your pay stub and to a folder on your computer so you can have all that stuff neatly filed. So when it's time for you to start your application and you and we ask for those things, you can just upload it, boop, boop, boop. It's all there for you and, and, and filed neatly. So good record keeping is number one because they I had a client that had to buy um, a couple days ago. They had to buy a certificate of insurance from their HOA. And um, I sent them a copy because they paid for it, of course. And um, they were like, well, what am I supposed to do with this? Keep it, because you never know when you go to refinance, they might ask you for a copy of that certificate. File it in, your home documents, on your computer. Even if you get, once you get those, um, the copy of your documents, once you go to closing, they're gonna give you paper copies in a big folder, nice fancy folder. Put that up. But you can also ask your um, whoever you did your closing with to send you an electronic copy. Keep that stuff. Keep that stuff filed away and neat. So when it's time to take to handle your business, you'll have that stuff. So thank you guys for listening. If you have any questions for me about record keeping, you're ready to start your process, give me a call. You have my cell, 301-326-7555. DM me. Leave me a comment below. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.